Tips for the evaluation of visual thinking resources and strategies. Material developed within the framework of the OIR project, presented by Dr. Sway Gutierrez. What and how to evaluate visual thinking productions. Moving title framed in a black rectangle, on a gray background. As teachers we always face the challenge of what and how to evaluate the productions of our students. This uncertainty increases when our teaching learning strategies are new. Well, what is new tends to be a verb of action, of executing new methodologies, but that many times they are not analyzed, nor is their effectiveness evaluated. To give an answer, what and how to evaluate the productions of visual thinking. From my teaching experience I can highlight two moments and two different types of evaluation. The screen appears divided in two, in the darker part, on the left. It indicates the initial moment, prior to teaching, what is the evaluation of educational resources, as indicated. Evaluate the digital applications to be used by the students. The functional, technical and usability criteria and the didactic criteria according to our purpose must be taken into account. And on the right side, light gray, the final moment, but whose evaluation must be summative, encompassing the process and the final production or learning result of the student. As indicated, it would be to evaluate the learning productions of the students, infographics, mental maps. In this presentation we will show instruments to evaluate those resources and those productions. In the evaluation of educational resources or applications we must take into account those that are optimal for the development of our didactic strategy, in this case, for visual finicking. The image represents the adaptation of a tool developed by me and published in 2014 for the suitability of online resources on cultural heritage. The boxed image in table format on a gray background shows the different categories in pink, the object of analysis for the evaluation of visual thinking applications. The adaptation shown is a summary of the criteria that we must take into account when checking this type of applications, which are truly educational and practical for the didactic purpose that we want. Identification data, your credits are important, technical criteria such as usability and easy handling, effectiveness and efficiency of the platform, as well as knowing its educational potential. The didactic criteria, that the objectives are identified, the purpose of the application, the quality of the content, that the activities are effective, and that their evaluation is potentially educational. And also take into account psychopedagogical criteria, such as accessibility, motivation, attention, interactivity or creativity of the platform. The exact citation is indicated at the foot of the table Gutierrez, 2014, page 627 to 641. Once the benefits and virtues of the applications or educational resources have been recognized, we will have a list to deliver to our students to face the requested task and be able to recommend the most appropriate ones judiciously. On a white background, with a faint and very small fretwork of bars, there is shown in the upper right part a comic thought bubble toned down in gray in which gear wheels of different sizes appear inside, highlighting four that contain in inside the icon of a notebook, or that of binoculars, a blackboard or money. From below and in a diagonal direction, Seven visual thinking applications are presented. 
A red rhombus with an icon of those mentioned for each one of them distinguishes them, followed by your name in blue and a short description, Teosui sketches, represented by binoculars. An application recommended to illustrate notes taken on a computer. Pictar, with the icon of a notebook and a pen, is the application for Android. Designed to support processes with visual thinking using augmented reality. D-Thinking, shares the same icon above, is for Android devices which allows you to group your ideas and systematize them in a creative way, as well as the creation of a wall or board of inspiration. Chalk Motion, icon of binoculars, gives you the opportunity to put image and text at the service of teaching. An easy way to start using visual thinking in your classroom. The applications represented with a blackboard icon are Spicy Nodes It has been applied successfully in the educational world for several years. Very complete tool to organize content and create concept maps with such an intuitive interactive interface ta. Transform your visual thought into a presentation, easy. You must take a photo of your design. Available free for Android and iOS so the mood board is a tool that allows us to clarifies ideas, download to paper, or to the screen, our inspiration, express creativity, discover your own style and define a mix of styles, good tool to communicate our ideas there are also others, which do not seem to be explained, but are cited, such as, go mood board, nice, envision, Canva, Pinterest, Milanote, Mural. Once we propose to our students the activity, mind map, infographic and it is carried out in different sessions, we find ourselves facing the definitive challenge. How to evaluate their visual thinking productions. Image title in yellow, framed in black on a gray background. We expose several examples of visual thinking of the students of primary education teaching of the University of Oviedo carried out in the subject, developing a curriculum of social sciences. The students had to present in the infographics the concept of curriculum with which they felt most identified. The screen is divided in two. On the left side the infographic of a group that indicates the curriculum in primary education, black text on a pink background. The rest of the scheme is on a blue background. They expose a yellow circle that contains a black mortarboard, from which four thin arrows extend towards other smaller circles located to its right. Stage and course objectives, green circle, purple circle, methodological guidelines, blue circle, evaluation criteria, and orange circle, learning standards. From the objectives to the criteria there are two arrows, an upper one and a lower one that frame them, indicating that they specify the contents and competencies. The curricular approaches are scattered throughout the graph boxed in pink. However, in the right image, more structured, it is the drawing of a tree, which from the root indicates the inside me. The first branch is broken, null curriculum is indicated, the branch on the right indicates the formal curriculum and hidden, displaying a dim green box, which extends in the form of a traditional scheme from didactic and pedagogical competences, formative knowledge, and the different micro and macro contexts of teaching intervention. That extended and detailed left branch touches the superior, social self, and the future self, which is the top of the tree. However, it is opposed to the individual self, which includes the informal curriculum. It is clear that we can see in the images. The different theoretical conceptions and the complexity and simplicity of the graphic construction, with the use of visual metaphors or ideograms and icon. Teaching focused on intelligence and thinking is a current of curricular design, 
focused on visual design, whose most direct derivation is visual thinking strategies. Message that appears in white on a red background on the left of the screen. On the right, a house drawn with simple geometric figures. Above the roof in a bench on a red rectangle, comprehensibility, followed by quality of content and utility. The roof, a simple triangle is the visualization, followed by two rectangles. The first simplicity and the one on the right structure and order, the lower floor, brevity and conciseness and liveliness. And the base of the house, cognitive empathy. The main design requirement should be the easy comprehension that should come along with the quality of content and usefulness, not least because of textual information. Both requirements should be lost. As paired criteria is the visualization, simplicity, specification of the content, which must follow a logical order and have a striking aesthetic that provokes or evokes emotions in the viewer. This is the case of both examples, which are presented through different visual metaphors. The student body has interpreted their conception of what the curriculum is and how useful it is. The left image shows the silhouette cut out of the profile of the Earth's crust to indicate the water cycle. However, the clouds will be the base curricular design, the sun the methodology. The trees the contents, the first lakes springs the objectives the flow of the river, the programming of the classroom, the subterranean water, the hidden curriculum, and the depth of the sea, the competitions. On the other hand, on the right is the drawing made by hand of the technical approach of the curriculum, simulating the entrance to the IKEA furniture store. In the foreground, a blonde woman who is reading two posters, the best in the sector, the best prices, obsession with results as indicated. Excellence in academic performance is sought. The dark-skinned, curly-haired man who looks at us, carries a brochure or catalog, explains with a sign that objective evaluation is as a technical process. Behind him, a bed appears inside the store display. If we look inside the corridor marked in gray, there are two women telling where to go. There is a blue arrow on the floor and a sign with a rigid and inflexible curriculum, to the left of the scene, a counter, with what appears to be a saleswoman and another sign that indicates a curriculum developed by experts and on the back wall near this counter. Posters attached to the walls of the store indicating that the accessories are they are located on the ground floor, as a clue they indicate that the contents and activities are secondary. At the bottom of the image, a brunette woman walks with her little boy by the hand and behind a sign that indicates, Get the house of your dreams with very little. To assess the design of the infographics developed by the students of primary education teaching at the University of Oviedo, an adaptation of the Valero 2001 evaluation instrument was made. The infographic evaluation rubric, white title on a red background to the left of the picture. On the right, the table in gray tones. The criteria and performance levels, up to four, in black to highlight. Information, significance, comprehension, aesthetics, use of images, topography, concordance and functionality stand out as criteria. Level 1, as a generic, simple construction up to level 4 of reflection, critical appropriation, coherently combined. The infographics were subjected to analysis according to the general dimensions of characterization of learning media syntactic, semantic and pragmatic, as indicated by the expert bibliography. The information presented must be organized and consistent with the symbol system, as its content must be relevant and functional. Due to their multimedia nature, 
Infographics must respond to criteria of interactivity, format, layout, significance, etc. As stated by Morera in 2003 or Valero in 2001. Dimensions and indicators that can determine the quality of the design and that we have collected in a rubric, a tool similar to a checklist with Likert type estimation. In general terms, it supposes an adaptation of the criteria indicated by Valero in 2001. Next, I leave you reference works on the evaluation instruments mentioned. Gutierrez, S. 2014. Evaluation of Online Teaching Resources on Heritage, the Educastor website. In O. Fontel, A. Ibanez and Martin, L. Courts. Reflect from Experiences. A Complementary Vision Between Spain, France and Brazil. Proceedings of the Two International Congress on Heritage Education. IPCE, OEPE. 627 to 641. Valero Sancho, J. 2001. The Infographic. Techniques, Analysis and Journalistic Uses. Autonomous University of Barcelona, thank you for your time.